In the country's recent history, the phenomenon of kidnapping was minimal, if not alien, to the crimes recorded annually in Ghana. But according to records of the police CID, cases of kidnapping have surged over the past year. Here is Deputy Director General of CID, ACP George Nanachunibua, with the kidnapping statistics for the year 2018. There were 64 reported cases of kidnappings. Full assessments show that 23 of these cases were true cases of kidnapping. 28 of the reported cases were abduction cases. Seven of them involved missing persons. Six were refused as untrue cases. And the police were able to arrest 11 suspected kidnappers. Of these 11 suspected kidnappers, four of them are on remand and one kidnapper has been convicted and sentenced to a 10-year jail term. In January 2019, news reports of the kidnapping of three girls from the Western region provoked a national conversation about kidnapping with many calling for action from the Ghana Police Service. Three months down the line, the CID boss, COP Mamiya Tiwa Dodankwa, gave this update. The kidnapping of the three ladies from Takradi Together with the BNI, we've worked very well and currently we know where the girls are. I am unable to give the details because we don't want to compromise their safety. We are working hard together with other stakeholders so that these girls are brought back home safely. The assurance to the family is that they should keep on keeping on. The ladies, they will know where they are and they are safe. So very soon, they will brought back home and they will go back to their family. But the family called for more. We, we are in pain. We are like, it's not easy for us. So at least we are begging her. If truly what they are saying is true, please, Madam Tiwa, I'm begging you, please just talk to my mom. Tell her what is going on. Because it's like you, you, we, you have left us in the dark. We, we don't know what is going on. Please, we are, we are pleading with you, please. Whilst this went on, in January 2019, 19-year-old Esther was kidnapped at Sokode in the whole municipality of the Volta region. Same month, 41-year-old Samuel Ofer was arrested in Koforidua for kidnapping a young boy and demanding a 2,000 Ghana cities ransom. Still in January, a second-year student of the Takwa Senior High School was kidnapped and later rescued by the police. In March this year, a nine-year-old boy was released back to his family at Aboso, a suburb of Aguna Suedro. This was after the family paid a 3,000 Ghana cedis ransom to the kidnappers. Same month, two suspects, Charles Apia and Manasseh Fumi, were arrested by the Ejisu police for kidnapping a 14-year-old. Also in April 2019, police from the Accra Regional Police Command rescued a 30-year-old woman who was kidnapped by two Nigerians. One of the suspects was subsequently arrested. Just last week, an Indian businessman was kidnapped in the Ashanti region and rescued by the police. In another development, residents of Kasua threatened to evict Nigerian nationals from the area following the killing of a kidnapped victim who was allegedly linked to the Nigerians. With these and many more cases of kidnappings in recent times, it appears the unpopular crime has gained grounds and this demand a sophisticated strategy to deal with it.